President Donald Trump signs an $8.3 billion measure to help tackle coronavirus. It provides federal health agencies with money for tests and potential vaccines. The president signed the bill this morning with Health and Human Services Secretary Alex Azar by his side. The Senate passed it last night by a vote of 96 to 1. The president says people should remain calm. In the United States, the death toll has climbed to more than a dozen, all but one in Washington state. And the deadly virus is not just in America. Earlier today, the Vatican confirmed its first case of coronavirus. Officials say a priest from France's Catholic Church in Rome tested positive. The Holy See has closed several offices. Its library will remain closed all next week as a precaution. And a health clinic inside the walled city state has been temporarily shut down so it can be sanitized. However, for now, St. Peter's Basilica and the Vatican Museums remain open. Pope Francis released a statement regarding the deadly outbreak, saying on Twitter, quote, I wish to express again my closeness to all those who are ill with the coronavirus and to health care workers who are caring for them, as well as to civil authorities and all those involved in assisting patients and in containing the spread of the virus. The Vatican also says it has suspended all foreign travel due to the coronavirus, and that includes a trip that two clergy abuse investigators were scheduled to make to Mexico later this month. No new date has been set for that mission. Oh, with more cases being confirmed daily here in the United States, the Catholic Church is responding in a variety of different ways. Correspondent Mark Irons reports now from outside of the Basilica of the National Shrine of the Immaculate Conception. Mark? Tracy, I'm standing in front of the largest Roman Catholic Church in North America. This iconic basilica here in the nation's capital is visited by nearly a million people every year. They come from all over the world. And across America, in places like this where the faithful are gathering, we're seeing coronavirus precautions are in full effect. As mass begins with a hymn at Mary's Shrine in D.C., a special announcement has been added. In light of the concern over the coronavirus. The priest asking the sign of peace, typically exchanged through a handshake, be shared another way. And today, Holy Communion is only being distributed through the host. The common chalice remains on the altar. It's common sense. It's something that everyone should be doing, and I believe it is being done. I think that they they take heed when they hear warnings. Not far from here in Maryland, a state of emergency has been declared after three people were diagnosed with the coronavirus. The Archdiocese of Baltimore is making the suspension of communion wine and handshakes mandatory. There's no downside to being overly precautious. And at the end of the day, anything we're doing, we're doing um, solely with the good of our people and those who work in our parishes and their health and well-being is, is at the forefront of any decisions we make. In Arlington, Virginia, mandatory action from churches is not required, but the vicar general of the diocese says he's trusting priests in the parishes to do what's best for their flocks. The pastors sort of have a, a better local feel for what's going on in their parishes, where they are, uh, the concerns of their parishioners, and being able to respond personally. Across the country, the Catholic Church response differs. In Washington state, where at least 10 coronavirus deaths have been confirmed, the Archbishop of Seattle says churchgoers should receive communion in their hand and not on the tongue. But in Portland, Oregon, the archdiocese says it would like to clearly communicate that a parish cannot ban the reception of Holy Communion on the tongue. And in the Archdiocese of Chicago, priests and all those serving in mass must wash their hands before the liturgy begins. Even in places like Pittsburgh, where we haven't seen confirmed cases of coronavirus, the diocese there is still taking precautions. But Tracy, across the country, we're hearing church officials tell their parishioners, if you're sick, don't go to mass. No need to put others at risk. Tracy. Okay, thank you, Mark. Correspondent Mark Irons reporting for us tonight.